Hey, so uh, Festus has been working on this, and as you can see, we've now got suspension on the back. Okay, it's yet to be tested, but basically, obviously, we can lift it, so um, you know it's kept in place. Uh, this is actually off a Freelander, and uh, it's just basically almost tacked in place at the moment. Needs strengthening, but it's enough uh, to give us an idea of the sort of level that we're going to work at. Obviously, we'll wire up the brakes and pipes and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, and this still needs strengthening as well. Yeah, yeah. from the angles there. But uh, just going to get a shot in there so we can get the uh, uh, comparison with the design. <coughs> it's been working on this all day actually, so as you can see, we've got some struts there. Let's do one underneath here as well, so you can see that. It stands a good chance of holding it, well, when it's empty certainly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's like the first pass, basically, because obviously we're designing a new vehicle here. So it's quite possible that we're basically cutting all of this completely away and starting again. You know, <coughs> And uh, I, I thoroughly expect us needing to do that. But if we can get something which can roll, and if I can put a... Like there's that Mitsubishi battery down there that's 300 volts. So I can put that in. It's quite lightweight compared to the battery that's going to be in it. And then we can get the motor running and we can see what it's like. Yeah. But uh, yeah, got some vids of him welding. It's uh, it, he he knows it's strength. He needs strengthening as well. And then we can start working on the front. Get some more steel and start stitching the front up. Yes, because it's missing. Ha! And then we can have four wheels on it, and that'd be a rolling chassis, and that'd be cool. Yeah, it will be. All right. Then it's once it has four wheels on it, it's effectively a vehicle. Yeah. Even without being actually, uh, yeah, even without being powered, it can still carry stuff by being pushed. <laughs> yes. And then once you actually hook up the axles and get some power to that motor, it's, a, it's an automobile. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, uh, it, the light's a bit dim because obviously the light's overhead. I'm just going to see if I can get a a shot in. I'm trying to get a shot in to compare it with the design. Yeah. And if I can keep it still, then it'll focus properly. 